How's it going, everyone? So, I finally got on my Amazon stuff. Um, the last video I made, I was talking about how I got the Rogue Ally, and I attached a lot of things to it with like duct tape. And I just stranded with a couple more, and I did this. So, this is what I had duct tape to the back. <laughs> so, I had like USB ports, one terabyte. And then this hub thing, so it powers everything on this here. And then I had to like, I like kind of rework that to get that going so the fence would work. Because uh, the fence have three pins, and this one's only two pins. So I had to figure out which one was the ones that power it on. I'm not really sure what the yellow one does, but. <laughs> Anyways, we got this. We had this. Now we're going to be switching over to the one terabyte to a micro SD card so we're not gonna need the big old thing anymore then I got the thermal stuff here so I won't need you know this big old fan I'm actually gonna order two miniature fans later on that are gonna be powered by USB which is why I have this it's like a little hub thing and we're gonna be unboxing this first and um, we are going to be working on the ROG Ally So, I guess let's just unbox this, and this is really the only thing that I'm really going to show off, because I mean, like, you, you, you know what a micro SD card is, it's this is a one terabyte, that, it was on sale, so I got it for half the price. Uh, these are the uh, uh, heat sinks that are going to go in the rug ally, which is, should drop the temperatures down by at least 15 to 18 degrees, which... I wouldn't have to worry about this getting damaged. <laughs> and then this, this is going to be the star of everything. So I can just so okay. So it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, which is good. I thought it was going to be bigger and chunky, and it's not. Okay. So then this is our little stand or little. Thing. And then I went to GameStop and I was looking for a thing and they gave me this. Apparently some guy traded in there his like two switches and games and ended up leaving this. So I got this for free from GameStop, so thank you GameStop. Could you imagine getting something for free? Oh. It is a little bit broken, but I'm pretty sure we can fix that. And then this is the rug I like. Well, my rug I like. Mine. I paid for it. Um, <laughs> the back is a mess. So I made all these extra holes. So the thing went like that. That's pretty much how it looked. So I'm going to be able to take off a lot of this and just keep the fans until I get the other fan. But I should be able to just do that. And it should just plug in. And that's... Oh, well. You can't really see it, but... That's what it's gonna look like. Hello, Armando. Okay, so we took out the back plate and um, didn't record this, but this was uh, this was like attached right here. Ended up just taking it off. I know some people kind of cut into it and kind of save it. Um, I'm not gonna. Well, I'm not gonna like throw it away, but I'm just gonna put it away and uh, save it just in case I ever just need it again but I uh, went ahead and take that off now I'm gonna be following the video the video is gonna show how um, we're gonna go ahead and put these on here and we're, and we're gonna use the thermal pads too so you know we won't have any issues with that so I got everything um, so I'll be right back okay so just with the uh, regular you know heat sink um, we're not really playing a game, I guess, but we are downloading something, so the device should get kind of warm. Um, we're sitting at 57, under 60 Celsius, and uh, we do have the one terabyte micro SD card that we installed in the, uh, the, the top. And it took a little while, 
but I didn't have to format anything surprisingly and we're getting pretty good speeds now some people did say that this little micro SD card thing or some of them are having issues that they're gonna they're gonna you know start out great and then they're going to slowly just stop or someone just said that their little card whatever stopped after like I don't know 10 or 15 you know percent or something like that so uh, we're gonna let this run and right now we are at four percent and we're gonna see if this SD card fails us I don't think it's gonna fail us I think we're just gonna be fine but you never know okay a quick update so the game is almost finished downloading it is at under 10 minutes because it goes up and down anyways it's been under 10 minutes it's downloading pretty fast um, it did dip a little bit but I think that's just the Wi-Fi and the temperature is still well it stays under 70 it is it, it, you know it rose up to 66 but it's going down 65 64 so uh, once this game finishes downloading then we'll be able to actually test it out on the you know while the game is running seeing how the temps are okay so we finally got everything running the game finally finished downloading and we are sitting under 60 celsius and that is without you know a fan attached to it so it's just it's just a heat sink and the fans from the actual device running and we dropped down to 58 celsius so this is definitely a working mod i followed the you know followed the video listen to the guy's instructions and it it does work everyone's dying so <laughs> but thank you for watching so it's kind of late so it's kind of late and these will be my new fans for the rogue ally i just had to solder it's not really a great job but it it, it worked <laughs> how to get the wires out but they are going to be the new fans all right and this is my rock ally fully cooled down we got the fans in the back it doesn't look that pretty but it works and then we get the dock attached to it by duct tape so we got power and everything we do have a micro SD card in the device, so it's finishing Rainbow Six Siege right now. And some people had trouble, you know, loading their SD card. They had to like format it. I didn't have to format mine, so uh, maybe I did have to, and I still haven't done it. But otherwise, it's doing okay. So this is what it's looking at right now. This is what it looked like when I just plugged it in. It just loaded up. So you're getting around 931 gigabytes. I've used up 700. Still got 200 left over, so I still got a bit of memory. Well, it's not, it's not really a lot, you know, but I can download maybe one or two more games. And I also have another terabyte micro SD card coming in. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in there. And this dog can actually have another regular SD card in the bottom right here so depending on how I do it you know because I can get a two terabyte SD card I can have up to like six terabytes and then if I actually change the internal one for a two terabyte I can actually have up to eight terabytes of memory in just this one device so it's a nice little device 900 it's downloading pretty fast too I mean I don't have any issues with this um, online it was saying that it was going to be slower than an actual SSD card maybe it is maybe it isn't or maybe it's talking about the actual game loading in but I was playing Rainbow I mean not Rainbow Six I was playing Apex and COD you know and they seem to run fine maybe it's like a couple seconds extra on the loading screens but it's not that big of a difference and the temps are staying between 63 and 64 right now. Not really sure why.
but everything on top is nice and it's kind of like warm right now because it is a little bit over 60 but it's not bad